start the game, did you think? Yep. We were. We played real good first two shifts. We gave them a gift, and it's one nothing. That was a pretty physical contest, I guess. I would have to see. Was it just that um, grab a hit that kind of started everything? Or, or? No, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't very hard in the first period. And then we finally decided we are going to at least engage a little bit. And uh, the game became hard, which is good for us to play in. How do you think your team functioned in that hard game? Good. Yeah, I thought we were aggressive. We kept the team that had, uh, well, what do they have, 12 wins now? I think we gave up 14 shots at the end of the night. Lost the game, not happy about it. But uh, we attempted 68 at, at their net. I thought we uh, answered the physical bell. Good. I don't know. I haven't uh, had a chance to, to look at it. Um, you know, whether you're on our side or their side, you never want to see a player get hit and uh, and go down like that. So, what did you think of the response on the hit on Hall? I thought it was excellent. I thought we went and played physical after that. I thought it was great. If you think we're going to jump off the bench and go run after him and jump him, it's not happening. That's not the way the game is played anymore. But after that, I thought we were physical. So just, just to clarify, Todd, you're okay with, in that moment, the guys who are on the ice in that moment, not having that immediate reaction. You're okay with the what is What's the immediate? You guys explain to me what's the immediate reaction you'd like. Well, with Bukestad on the, on the ground, yeah. he hit, he stepped in. That was a more immediate reaction, and some teams do that. Yep. Some teams don't necessarily as much. Yep. What's your expectation as a coach? I thought Halsey got back up. He went down and played real well along the boards, handled the puck well. I thought we played physical on their skill after that. Um, I thought it was fine. No, it was poor. It was poor at the net by Darnell, and it was poor getting beat back by Teddy. Poor. Did you see that happen? You know, the bench, you see all this as a good They had lots of room to maneuver. Yeah, they, they, that line of theirs is big, strong. They cycle well. Um, I thought they did some good things physically to protect pucks uh, for about three or four shifts during the night. But after that, I thought we handled it. Your club has played good hockey and lost a lot of games. Yeah. In a sense, it frustrates you that. Uh, is there one thing to fix? Is there one answer you've seen here? Is there a Well, no, we've got our, our power play has to get better. Uh, it, it's right now with the talent that we can put on the ice and the production that they get. And... Uh, the 10 or 11, 12 guys that get to play on it have to take individual responsibility. I think right now it's somebody else's issue instead of mine, and that has to get better. Um, just the, the home run mistakes, Darnell's mistake at the beginning of the game, those have, to, those have to be eliminated from our game. They have to be eliminated. Um, you know, and you can talk systems and show video and motivate and do all you want. That's an individual mistake that has to be out of the game. And, uh, you know, so that's the defensive side of it. The offensive side, we need production from some people. And that can come on the power play. We have a couple of, of key people haven't scored for a while. And then uh, when we were winning, they were getting on the board. Uh, young players at times will struggle with confidence. And you know, Leon mentioned, like, last year he had, didn't have a lot of it. He came up this year, it was great. He feels like now it's, it's kind of waning. As a coach, what can you do to help a young guy get out of that fake when he doesn't have the confidence that he had. Or... Well, I think you have to, you know, whether it's Leon, we can leave names out of it, but individuals have to sit back and say, well, why am I not confident? What am I not doing? What changed in, um, and again, I'm leaving Leon out, but just if you were playing really good and you felt really, really good, and all of a sudden three games later you don't, what changed? You know, the ice surface stays the same size. You're probably playing with the same line mates. You're, you haven't got faster, stronger. You're probably not a lot weaker. So what changed? And um, you know, for some of our players that that use that uh, confidence thing, I know Drew's been around me before. You don't just go to the mall and lose your confidence. You do things uh, sloppily. You do things slower. You do things that are softer. Um, go back and watch a couple of games when you had your confidence, and you'll notice a big difference. When a guy like Matty Hendricks goes out there and hits and fights and kind of wears his heart on his sleeve, how does that reverberate to your team? Yeah, it you does. Think? You know, Gribes uh, as well was a physical, you know, he physical game. And was they're a big, strong team, and we we answered the bell physically. 
and uh, sometimes extracurricular stuff happens. Um, you know, so I, that's why I was a little bit pissed off when you guys asked me about the response. I thought that's as good a response to physicality as I've seen um, our team, at least, this year respond to. And probably in my seven years in San Jose when we played against Edmonton. So, but a lot of times, thought it seems to be the same guys. Like Hendricks has done his entire career drive, kind of the same mm -hmm. thing. Like you saw, Florida had a few guys go out of their comfort zone that have never done it. And Gerbranson talked about how it's it's tough for anybody to do, but it really unifies the team when guys yeah. you don't expect to kind of go out of their comfort zone. To and do. those guys on their team would be who? Bukestad and Shaw. Bukestad's six foot eight. I well, he good for him. He showed up and did a good job. Todd, were you pleased with how trailing for that length of time, playing attacking hockey but not reckless hockey the last 45 minutes? Were you, were you pleased with the way your club finished the game, even though they did not end up getting the time? I thought we were um, attacking until about seven minutes, six minutes left in the game, and they went to their, uh, you know, to a real good, solid. Uh, five guys back, stack up the red line. We had trouble coming through it. There was a sense of frustration that, that seeped into our game, but they've won 12 because they, they have the ability to do that. They do a good job of it. You updated on McDavid. Any update on Clefbaum? Uh, no, he's, um, uh, again, he's not out because of a concussion or all the speculation. He does have a lower body injury. Um, you know, he's entitled to his privacy when it comes to, uh, to injuries. He broke a knuckle. It's completely healed. He'd be completely ready to play if he didn't have a lower body injury. And uh, when he is healthy and it's safe for him to skate again, he will. Thank you. Good.